Eight mobs have become stronger in the upcoming Minecraft update, and several of them have also become weaker. Let's take a look at each of these and new metas to use in your world. Where before you'd have to be fairly close to the center of the zombie before it could actually attack you. It also couldn't attack you if you're just one and a half blocks tall, or if you're slightly above it and in the corner. So you can actually push them around without them attacking you. And even if we were inside the zombie while underneath of it, it wouldn't be able to hurt us. And other similar sized mobs would act the exact same way. The one before you could just evade the zombie by piglins by standing on a wall, but this is no longer possible in the upcoming Minecraft version. Now the zombie not only has a farther reach from the side, but they can also attack things that are slightly above them, as long as their hitboxes are at the same level, and they can see the thing that they want to attack, meaning that their red line has to see my red line. And you can see these lines by pressing F3 plus B, which means the mobs won't be able to attack if you're underneath of them, but as soon as just a bit of you shows up at the same as the foot level, they can then reach you. This attack range surrounds them like a circle, so even if you're in the corner, they will now be able to hit you. When it comes to Enderman, before you could actually avoid the Enderman attack just by being a block and a half above it. You were also safe underneath of it. So now with Enderman, you have to be three blocks up to be safe. And if you go any lower, they'll get you. So make sure you stack up plenty high in order to take on your Enderman in the end dimension. So before we get within two blocks of our Iron Golem, it would be able to hit you. Or if you fall within two and a half blocks above it, even if you're a full block underneath of a Golem, it's still able to hit you. So now you have to be a bit closer to the iron golem before it'll actually hit you. But you'll still be safe from them by stacking up three blocks. But now you can hide from their attacks just by being two blocks under them. So you can use this to your advantage when early game and you can just kill an iron golem such as like for speedrunning by hitting it, can't reach as far, and then you can just hide inside of a house. Or you can easily do crits without you having to even build a tower. Fires used to have a seemingly long reach that could even hit you if you were above them. Plus it could reach you when you're underneath of it. Those spiders can't hit you as far as they used to. Plus they can't damage you if you're slightly above them or if you're slightly underneath of them. So to avoid spiders, all you do is have to hop in a hole and <laughs> you can just easily attack them from underneath. Now before angry bees could actually hit you out pretty far. And even if you are way above them. And even if you are technically underneath of them. Bees range is about the same. Except now you're safe if you're above them as well as below them. Where pufferfish, on the other hand, don't actually do a melee attack, instead just have a range around them. So if you get within that range, they will give you poison, and they don't care which side you come in from. So you can see the pufferfish range is about the same, and it doesn't matter if you're above them. We're halfway, so leave a like, and check that you're still subscribed. Besides the Warden Sonic Boom Attack, it also has a melee attack. But unlike the Iron Golem, it wouldn't be able to melee you while being above it. Or if you're just below it, you would also be out of its reach. So you still gotta be fairly close before the warding can hit you. And like before, it can't hit above or below without its sonic attack. Wither Skeletons are similar to Endermen, where they can't even hit you if you're just a block and a half above them, or a bit underneath them. Now if you want to be safe from Wither Skeletons, make sure you're at least above their head height. So now you gotta be more careful when in the nether dimension, and build up three blocks tall so you don't get hit by the Wither Skeletons. Hoglin and Zoglins are known for their very far reach, where you might be safe standing three blocks above them, but even two blocks above them, they will definitely hit you. And even being far underneath, they will still get you. Hoglins and Zoglins also have a smaller reach, and they can no longer attack above or below them. So to get a Hoglin, just be sure to stack up at least two blocks up, and then you'll be completely safe from it. But Ravagers by far had the farthest reach, or even being three blocks above them, they would still hit you. And even if you're way underneath them and off the side, they were still able to attack you. So now you can get much closer to Ravagers, and if you're within one block, only then can they hit you. And they can no longer hit above them or underneath of them. Now the Phantom's attack range is still similar, meaning you can avoid Phantoms just by falling into a hole, because Phantoms have bad AI and they can't figure out how to get to you. Before Silverfish could attack you if you're hovering above them, now Silverfish won't be able to really hit above them, so you can stand directly atop of them. Meaning now you can prevent Silverfish from attacking you just by hovering over the edge of a block, and as long as there's not too many of them, they'll just try to attack you from underneath, but they can't actually reach you. Well, the dragon's a bit different because it doesn't actually attack you with melee, and it also has these little boxes, and each of the boxes can push the player, but the player only actually gets pushed when they take fall damage. So if I would fall here on slime, you can see the boxes don't actually push me about. That's all but the head box here, which if you get close, it will damage you and it will also push you. Because of this, the dragon acts the same way in the new update. Now become smarter by checking out this playlist here about secret tricks in the game of Minecraft. 
thanks to my supporters at the diamond, iron, and wood farmer levels. It's only because of them I'm able to continue making videos. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.